Preparation of Dihydrogen In this module, you will learn about the different methods of preparation of dihydrogen. We already know that dihydrogen is available abundantly in the universe. However, there are various methods by which it can be prepared. These preparations can be broadly grouped into laboratory preparations and commercial preparations. Let us first talk about the laboratory preparations of dihydrogen. In a laboratory, dihydrogen can be prepared by the reaction of zinc with an acid. For this reaction, granulated zinc is taken in the Wolf's bottle, which is fitted with a thistle funnel and a delivery tube. Then, dilute hydrochloric acid is added to the Wolf's bottle through the thistle funnel. Zinc in the bottle then reacts with the acid and forms dihydrogen. The dihydrogen gas so formed in the bottle enters the delivery tube and gets collected in the gas jar through the downward displacement of water. The chemical equation for this reaction between zinc and acid is shown here. Dihydrogen can also be prepared in the laboratory by the reaction of zinc with an alkali such as sodium hydroxide. When sodium hydroxide reacts with zinc, it forms sodium zincate and hydrogen gas. Now let us study about some of the commercial preparations of dihydrogen. The best commercial method of preparation of dihydrogen is the electrolysis of water. This process is carried out with acidified water in the presence of platinum electrodes. Acid makes water a good conductor of electricity. During the electrolysis of water, electricity is passed through the acidified water. As a result of it, water gets separated into dihydrogen and dioxygen. The dihydrogen gas gets collected at the cathode while the dioxygen gas gets collected at the anode. The overall chemical reaction that takes place during the electrolysis of water is represented as shown here. Another commercial method of the preparation of dihydrogen is Syngas Bosch method. In this method, steam is passed over a hydrocarbon or red hot coke at a high temperature in the presence of a catalyst. This results in the formation of a mixture of carbon monoxide and dihydrogen gas. This mixture is called water gas. This mixture of carbon monoxide and dihydrogen gas can also be used for the synthesis of methanol. Therefore, it is also called the synthesis gas or sink gas. However, the separation of dihydrogen from water gas or sink gas is difficult. Therefore, carbon monoxide of the sink gas is made to react with steam in the presence of iron chromate as the catalyst. This reaction is called the water gas shift reaction. As a result of this reaction, carbon monoxide changes to carbon dioxide along with the formation of more amount of dihydrogen. Besides this, dihydrogen can be easily separated from carbon dioxide and thus it gets collected. Dihydrogen is also obtained as a byproduct during the electrolysis of brine solution. The brine solution, as you may already know, contains sodium ions, chloride ions, hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions. During the electrolysis, the chloride ions move towards the anode and get oxidized to form chlorine molecules. Therefore, chlorine gas is released at the anode. The chemical equation that occurs at anode is represented as shown here. At the same time, the hydrogen ions move towards cathode and get reduced to form dihydrogen. Therefore, dihydrogen gas is released at the cathode. The chemical reaction that occurs at the cathode is represented as shown. Therefore, the overall reaction for the process can be written as shown. Other than the preparations that we have learnt, dihydrogen of high purity can be prepared by the electrolysis of warm solution of barium hydroxide using nickel or platinum electrodes. Let's recap. Dihydrogen can be prepared by various methods. In a laboratory, dihydrogen can be prepared by the reaction of zinc with an acid, the reaction of zinc with an alkali. Commercially, dihydrogen can be prepared by the electrolysis of water, 
the Singer's Bosch method, the electrolysis of brine solution, the electrolysis of warm solution of barium hydroxide.